Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. What is the approximate bearing of the Great Circle track from A at South 70 West 30 to B at South 70 East 60 when measured at A? A, 048 degrees true, B, 090 degrees true, C, 312 degrees true, or D, 132 degrees true. When we are trying to solve these convergency problems, the first thing we need to do is to draw a very simple diagram. That diagram only consists of the two meridians of longitude and the great circle track. In the southern hemisphere, you remember that the meridians converge towards the south pole and diverge towards the north pole. The next thing we need to do is to place on the track line. Draw the track line straight across the two meridians like so and then identify the direction of travel. We're going from west 30 to east 60 so we're obviously travelling in an easterly direction. Easterly is left to right so the track line is going left to right across our screen. Next thing mark on A which is the point of origin and B the point of destination. Making this meridian west 30 and this meridian east 60. The angle that we're trying to find is the great circle track at A and the great circle track at A is simply that angle there. But how are we going to calculate it? We haven't been given any angles to start with. What we can notice though is that both A and B are on the same latitude, both are at south 70. Every great circle track has a corresponding rum line track. So I'll draw the rum line track in between A and B. The rum line track is always on the equatorial side of the great circle. So in this case, it will be bent upwards away from the great circle track. Being that A and B are on the same latitude, the rum line track will follow that parallel of latitude. And as it is following a parallel of latitude, it has a constant bearing of 0, 090 degrees true. From this, we can see that the great circle track at A is greater than the, great, uh, the rum line track at A by that angle. And that angle is known as conversion angle. How do we f calculate that value of conversion angle? Very simply, from applying a formula which says that conversion angle, let's just take some of this out, conversion angle is equal to half times change of longitude times the sine of the mean latitude.
So let's fill some numbers in. Half times the change of longitude. Well, the longitudes are west 30 and east 60. Opposite hemispheres, so we add them together. 30 plus 60 is 90 degrees. Multiplied by the sine of the mean latitude. The mean latitude is obtained by taking the two latitudes together, adding them, and then dividing by two. But in this case, they're both the same in any case. So 70 plus 70 is 140, divided by two is 70 degrees. This gives us half times 90 times the sine of 70. I'll take my calculator, and on the calculator, I look up the sine of 70 is equal to 0.94. Multiply those numbers together. Half of 90 is 45. 0.94 times 45 is 42 degrees. So the value of the conversion angle is 42 degrees. As we can see, at A, the great circle track is greater than the rum line track. That means it is greater than 90 by 42 degrees, giving a final answer of 132 degrees true. So our final solution is 132 degrees through option D.